Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. Today I'm going to use this stamp and die set from Honeybee Stamps called Big Pickup Tailgate to make my double interactive card. Let's begin by stamping the pickup truck and I'm using my larger Misty here to do my stamping. I will stamp my image on a 140 pound uh, Canson XL watercolor paper with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. After the stamping is done, I'm going to color my pickup truck with my ZigClean Color Real Brush Markers. I listed the colors on the screen so you can see what colors I used on this um, image. And I will let you watch the coloring part and I will be back when the coloring is done. Let's die cut our colored pickup truck. So I'm going to place my die on my uh, colored uh, image and then I'll secure that with washi tape. And then I will also um, die cut that part that I didn't color. So I'm just gonna place that and then add washi tape. I also die cut the pickup truck with white cardstock and that will go on the back of the pickup truck to hold my uh, circuit. Before I start adding the interactive part of my card, let's go ahead and stamp press here using Hippie Doodle Interactive Viewers stamp set with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I will also stamp hugs on the license plate uh, of the truck. And now I'm adding double-sided tape on the back of the cutout so I can adhere my acetate. I'm going to punch tiny holes on the lights on both sides of the truck with this Fiskars puncher. And now I can add my foam tape. I will double up my foam tape so the shaker element will shake freely inside. I'm 
I'm going to use my EK powder tool and brush the sides of the foam tape so when I add my shaker elements, they are not going to stick on the sides. These are the shaker elements that I'm going to use on my shaker. I have this uh, hard clay pieces and tiny hard shaker bits from my stash. So I'm just going to add them inside of the uh, shaker and then also add those two. Um, I don't know what you call these ones. They are really tiny shakers and I forgot where I got them. I have a scrap of watercolor paper. I will use that on the back of the shaker and I will color it with my cobalt teal blue watercolor paint. And then to make the process uh, go fast, I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. And then I'm going to add this on top of the foam tape to close my shaker. And now the shaker part is done, we'll move on to the light up part. I will trace where I want my lights to go on the white cardstock die cut by using the lid of my pencil because uh, of the dimension I can't just um, trace it with the regular pencil because it doesn't reach all the way in. But you can trace it before you put the shaker together, I just forget to do it. Now I'm going to uh, trace the where I want my battery holder to go. So I just trace it over there. So now I'm going to add my uh, battery holder. And this is just one by two inches, I think. And then fold it in half. So I'm going to add a positive and negative uh, sign on the um, folded paper and then draw my um, my lines and now I'm ready to uh, add my copper foil tape so this is the one that I'm using so I already cut my copper foil tape and now I'm going to cut it in half and I will add it on the lines I cut my copper foil tape to get more out of my tape um, this tape that I'm using is uh, 1 4 inches and I think 1 8 inches uh, is enough to do my circuit. After I'm done adhering my copper foil tape, I'm going to use my bone folder to, add, to varnish the copper foil tape uh, to make sure it's uh, well adhered on the paper. And now I'm going to add my LED light stickers. So I'm going to use uh, two red um, lights on my uh, circuit. So I'm just going to add that where uh, I traced earlier. And then I'm going to try it um, if it works and it works so we're good to go. Now that the light works, I will add my foam tape. Um, I will add foam tape on the three sides of the battery holder and then add the rest of the foam tape on the back of the colored uh, truck. I'm also going to double up the foam tape so it's the same thickness with our shaker. I also added foam tape on top of the battery holder. If I'm using 3M, 3M foam tape, I don't have to do that because the thickness is perfect. But because I'm using different foam tape this time, I have to 
add uh, that foam type on top of the battery holder. Let's go ahead and remove the release paper from the foam type so we can adhere these two pieces together. Now for the background, I have my watercolor paper, Kansan XL 140 pound, and I trace a um, straight line using my T ruler so I know where I want to add my, uh, uh, my background. So here I'm using Daniel Smith uh, watercolors to do my background. And then I will add my colors on the paper and dry it with my heat tool. I will do this back and forth until the colors build up on the paper and or until I get the desired look of uh, my background. I'm going to splatter some white paint on the background and I will add just a little bit, not, not too much because I don't want it to look like uh, snow and I just want to look like a splatter of uh, stars. The white paint that I'm using here is the Grumbacher uh, Titanium White Acrylic Paint and I really like this one because it's opaque white color and it's good for splattering so for the lower part of the card by the way this card is really big it's like eight and a half by five and a half inches after i'm done with it so i added white or black cardstock on the bottom part of the card and that's where i'm going to place my uh, my pickup truck and now I'm I already went ahead and die cut this uh, what's this one Zizix uh, Thinlit 3 line die and I think this one is the Tim Holtz ones so I already went ahead and die cut it with uh, black cardstock and then now I'm going to adhere it on top of the uh, background. I'm going to add the uh, three die cuts on top of each other so because I want the my three to be six so that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to add one more layer and then that piece will go on the other side so I'm also going to add that on the other side and then I will cut the excess paper. And then we'll go ahead and adhere this uh, panel on my, uh, my card base. And my card base is uh, pure poppy cardstock from uh, Paper Tree Ink. My card base measures 8.5 by 11 inches and then I just score that in half. For the sentiment, I'm using Tim Holtz Things Slash Talk Stamp Set and I'm going to use the Happy Valentine's Day and I'm going to stamp that with Versafine ink on my scraps of watercolor paper and then I'm just going to cut it with my uh, scissor and then uh, I'm going to adhere this on the upper uh, part of the card with foam tape and a little bit of liquid glue. And my double interactive card is complete. This pickup tailgate stamp and die set is super cute and I love how my card turned out. I made another one uh, but uh, the only difference is that I use white LED light. And the uh, one that we created on camera, we used the red LED light. So let me know if the process uh, is clear and if you understand what I'm saying because 
um, English is my second language, so I'm having, or my fourth language, <laughs> so I'm having hard time to express myself sometimes. So, apologies if um, that's the case. But I hope you like today's cards. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.